Now, Turaba State Governor Darius Ishaku says his administration has implemented all social investment programs in Taraba State. The governor made the disclosure during the flag of, of the federal government's grants for vulnerable groups at the Camp View Hotel Jalingo. Let's take a report on this. Governor Darius Ishaku, represented by the Secretary to the State Government, Antoine Jellison, pledges to provide counterpart funds in line with the mem memoranda of understanding signed between the state and the federal government. He posits that the cash transfer program, home grown feeding programs, and the empower by the federal government have no doubt improved the livelihood of the citizens. Governor Shabu thanked President Muhammad Buhari and other implementing partners for doing a great job and further urged the participants to make judicious use of the money and items given to them to reciprocate government good intentions. You will know that all the four components of the National Social Investment Programs, that is NC, is fully implemented in Tanawa State, and it has impacted positively on the lives of the people of Tanawa State. More than one million direct and indirect beneficiaries across the state have benefited from these programs. In her remarks, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Umar Farouk, said the program was in fulfillment of the President Muhammad Buhari campaign promises to uplift the living conditions of the vulnerable groups in the society. The minister, who was represented by the Coordinator Natural Investment Program, Umar Bindur, reveals that over 5,000 People have benefited from the program with cash transfer of 20,000 naira to over 3,000 people across the state. President Mohamed Buhari, who is the deeper social inclusion agenda, Your Excellency, has directed that 70% of these beneficiaries must be women, while the remaining 30% is for use. Mr. President, also, Your Excellency, directed that at least 15% of the total number of the beneficiaries must be allocated to citizens with special needs, including persons with disabilities and also our senior citizens in the state. It is on this note that we encourage the Tarapa State Government to note and emulate this gesture and expect similar interventions like you're doing to amplify social inclusion through its policies, programs, and projects. Some of the beneficiaries thanked the state and federal government for coming to their aid. High point of the ceremony was the distribution of starter packs to end skills beneficiaries, digitized payment of conditional cash transfer, payment of one of grants to selected internal displaced persons and others. Linda Guana, VUR TV News Jaringo.